Hi guys, this is Kelty Arts here, and today we'll be looking at how to create Taurus knots using Maya 2022. Let's begin. So here I have three different types of Taurus knots. So the one great thing about this method is everything is procedural and tweakable, and it doesn't require a lot of manual work. First, I'm going to hide these and create a new one. Then go to the create menu and go to nerves primitive and go to circle. Normally I, I have interactive creation on, that's just my preference. So you can go to curves and surfaces tab shelf you click the circle and then create it. Once you have that, you can go into create and then loc locate the sweet mesh and click it. Once you click it, it will create a tube for you. So to create the tubes, you just go to distribute and click it. And then you want to scale the circle up a little bit. And then you go to the interpolation, increase it a bit to get more resolution. And then you want to scale the profile up as well. And then you you lower the scale instances. Once you have, you also want to change it to using four tubes, four instances. Once you have that, you can start adding the twist. And 0.5 is the amount of twist you want to set for this type of look. And then you just tweak the scale profile. So yeah, this is pretty much the same. It's just scaled in a little bit. And then this is what how you achieve the first one. One thing you have to watch out for is if you go to display and go to polygons and uh, go to border edges, you notice these parts highlighted. That means that the tubes are not connected right now. So it has an open border. So to fix that, you want to go to edit mesh and click merge. Basically merge is the same as merge vertex tool. You can leave it at one, uh, sorry, 0 0.01, but yeah, sh normally it should be fine. So if you look closely, you can see that the open border edges no longer showing up. So that means it's connected. And a nice thing about this is everything is procedural. So you can, you can change settings and they'll still merge. But the only thing you gotta watch out for is sometimes if you change this number of instances, you have to adjust the twist. There's probably a more mathematical way in dealing with the amount of twists relative to the amount of instances. But I think just tweaking the twists to match the amount of segments is just fine for now. So here we have three number of instances. To fix it, 
we just adjust the twist to around 0 0.333 to fix the connection issue. So for the next one, let's hide this. For this one, you just have to change the amount. So let's count how many tubes there is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to change it to six instances. You want to tweak the scale instance and also the scale profile a bit to match the look scale the circle up a bit and um, change the distribution to linear and now it's more closer to the shape of the ribbon but then you gotta change the twist function One point five. That's pretty much like that. And, uh, up next, we're gonna do the third type. Let's bring it a little bit closer so we can compare. So this one. We're using six instances as well, but we got to change it back to radial. See, notice how that's it. That's how you create a torus knot easily in my 2022. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more content.